Hello everyone, I'm Augusta Myers. Welcome to One Albuquerque Media and this week's City News Brief. City and local leaders joined Yes Housing last week to break ground on Calle Cuarta, a new affordable housing development in the near North Valley. The project will add 61 new affordable rental units and four live-work units and features first floor retail space, a dog park, playground, fitness room, and a walking path providing connectivity to Garfield Middle School. After being closed for a year, city officials and the community gathered for a ribbon-cutting ceremony last week to celebrate the millions of dollars in improvements to the historic Barelas Park. Park renovations include a new multi-use court, lighting, playground equipment, new trees, benches, and parking. But Ellis Park was originally constructed in 1974 and became one of the most popular gathering places of this historic neighborhood. Every summer, over a thousand young people get city jobs as recreation leaders, lifeguards, swim instructors, and more. This year, they were offered the opportunity to open a special youth priority bank account through Rio Grande Credit Union and learn about financial responsibility and smart budgeting. Youth employees also receive financial literacy education through the City of Albuquerque's Bank on Berkey program. Over 20 accounts have already been created since they've been available to youth employees. City leaders and ABQ Pride recently kicked off a month-long show of support for Albuquerque's LGBTQ community. ABQ Ride unveiled the design of a new Pride bus wrap, curated by an in-house graphic designer who incorporated photos of local Albuquerque residents from previous Pride parades held in the city. The ABQ Ride Pride bus wrap will be displayed throughout the month of June. And that wraps up this week's edition. We hope you join us again next week for the latest city news right here on One Albuquerque Media. I'm Augusta Myers. Thanks for joining me.